what democracy looks like. They rallied, marched, and made their voices heard. This morning, thousands of people united in downtown Chicago for a march to the polls, continuing on what began last year, a movement to protect not only women's rights, but all human rights. It's just important to support women and our rights, and we do have a say in our body and our decisions. So basically here, not only does it be like a lot of women like me, but also my parents. Um, they're like the original dreamers, and right now I feel like my life is ultimately and she looks a lot like Mary Green. Marchers fill the streets with chants, waving flags, and posters, standing up for their rights, but also against President Donald Trump's administration. Trump represents everything that is wrong in the United States, and this is our time up for women, for men, for everyone to get together and be fighting all of the issues that we have in the United States. In addition to the marchers, businesses also showed solidarity. Free Range Office, a woman-owned and operated business in the Wicker Park neighborhood, opened its doors as a meet-up space for marchers in the area. Every time you know, that we hear about an event that we can get involved with, where we can open up this space, where we can give opportunities to women to come together to support women's empowerment and the women's movement, we are going to do it. We can't stand by while the men make more money, while they make the decisions about our bodies. And so I feel like everyone has to keep up the momentum and I think that this is a unique moment in time. If something matters to Native Americans or if something matters to African Americans or Mexican Americans, you know, like immigration, that's also then something that matters to me. Women's rights are everyone's rights. With a focus on the 2018 elections, marchers encouraged much more than just voting. The world was in the shape of her. 